Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the Word Audio Devotional. Today's topic is Grace Project from Start to Finish and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. When we started this series, we started with our scripture in Ephesians chapter 2 which says that we have been created to do works that have already been marked out for us to do. We spoke about the need for trust, for patience, for obedience, and for the transformation or the renewal of our mind. Today, very briefly, I want to speak about something else that we need. I want to speak about grace. The entire journey of finding your purpose first and then walking in it is a project of grace. I remember in one of our scriptures a few days ago, we spoke about how Moses went up the mountain and waited for seven days before God spoke. If I would reuse that analogy, I can show you that everything about that journey is by grace. It is grace that will make the Lord summon you up a mountain in the first place. While there are people who are always itching to go into the place of prayer, there are others who cannot last five minutes in prayer before they get bored. What makes the difference? Grace. The grace for prayer and supplication. After one has received that grace and has started praying and waiting on God to speak, it takes another dose of grace to hear God. But before we even get to hearing, it takes grace to wait and to wait right. There are people who have aborted destiny in the silence of waiting. Imagine if Joseph had slept with Potiphar's wife, for instance, he would have aborted destiny. So it takes grace to wait and to wait right. It then takes the grace of God to hear and understand what God is saying. The Bible tells us of a man who needed a second touch from Jesus in order to stop seeing men like trees. In other words, this guy was seeing, but he was not seeing accurately. It takes grace to see and to hear properly. It then takes grace to come down the mountain and implement to the letter what you have heard. It takes grace to even start the journey of wanting to know what God would have you do in the first place. They are Christians after all who don't care and just do whatever they feel like at every point in time. Today's episode is a pointer to one of the things that you must pray for on this journey, grace. The Bible says we are given access to the throne that administers and dispenses the graces that we need for our journey. And the Bible admonishes us to come boldly and freely to this altar for mercy and for grace. You cannot go on the journey of taking your place without utilizing grace and mercy. Wherever you are on your journey, pray for grace and pray for mercy. As long as you are on this journey, you will need them. Believer, take your place. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Please continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audio devotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.